Hello guys. Welcome back to CAD Make. In this tutorial we are going to draw a hexagonal nut and bolt in SOLIDWORKS. We'll use some of essential commands and features and to give our sketch a professional look. I hope you'll enjoy it. Now if you're ready, let's get started. Go to the file menu. Click New, click on Part, and click OK. Go to the background scene and click on Plain White. Now click on Sketch and select the front plane. Now take the polygon command, and type parameters as six sides. Specify the origin point and draw it. Click OK. Now select this line, and make it horizontal. Click OK. Take the smart dimension command, select this line and this one. Give the distance as 20 millimeters, click OK. Again click OK to finish the command. Now go to the features and click on extruded boss command. Choose the direction as mid plane, and give the thickness as 9 mm, click OK. Now click on this surface, click sketch. Take the circle command, and draw a circle here in the origin. Click OK. Now select this circle, hold Ctrl or Shift button and select this line, and make it tangent. Click OK. Click isometric to make it normal. Now select this circle. In the features click on extruded cut command. Select flip side to cut. Give the angle as 45 degrees. Click OK. Select cut extruded one and go to the mirror command. Click here in the part settings, click on front plane. Now simply click OK. Here we see the same cutting has been made in the other side. Again click on this surface, click sketch. Take the circle command. And draw a circle here in the origin. Click OK. Take the smart dimension command. Select this circle and give the circle diameter as 12 millimeters, click OK. Now go to the features. And click on extruded boss command. Select the direction as blind. Give the length as 40 millimeters, click OK. Click on isometric to make it normal. Now select this circle and click on chamfer. Make sure chamfer type, and 45 degrees. Give the chamfer distance as 0.5 millimeters, click OK. For the threads, go to the whole wizard. Click on thread. Or go to the insert menu, click features, then click on thread. Click OK. Now we need to give the starting location and, end location of the threads. Select this circle as a starting point and this surface as end point. Click offset to give some space between the thread and bolt head. Give the offset value as 5 mm. In specification select metric die and the size as M12 with 1.5 pitch for 12 mm diameter bolt. Select offset to add more threads of 1 mm for the perfect shape at the end. It looks perfect now. Click isometric to make it normal. Now scroll down, and select Cut Thread and Right Hand Thread Options. Click OK. Here we see the end of this thread is not perfect. To give a perfect shape, click on this surface, click Sketch, click on Convert Entities. Now go to Features, and click on Extruded Cut Command. Give the direction as through all. And click OK. Here we see the cutting has been made and it looks perfect. Now go to the appearance. Click on metal. Click on steel. Now choose the brush steel. Now change the visual styles shaded to real visualization like this, see it's look perfect. Go to the file menu. Click New. Click on Part, and click OK. Go to the background scene and click on Plain White. Now go to the sketch, click on Sketch. And choose the front plane. Click on Polygon. Give the parameters as six sides. Specify the origin point and draw it. Click OK. Now select this line and make it horizontal. Click OK. 
Take the Smart Dimension command. Select this line and this one, give the distance as 20 millimeters. Click OK. Now go to the features and click on Extruded Boss command. And give the thickness as 9 millimeters. Give the direction as mid plane. Click OK. Now click on this surface, click Sketch. Take the circle command. And draw a circle here in the origin. Click OK. Go to the Smart Dimension command. Select this circle. Give the circle diameter as 10.38 mm, click OK. Now go to the features and click on Extruded Cut command. Erection as through all. Click OK. Again click on this surface, click on Sketch, take the circle command and draw a circle here in the origin. Click OK. Now select this circle, hold Ctrl or Shift button and select this line. Make it tangent. Click OK. Click isometric to make it normal. Now select this circle, go to the features and click on extruded cut command. Choose the direction as blind. Select flip side to cut. Give the degrees as 45. Click OK. Select cut extruded 2 and click on mirror command. Click here in the part settings. Click on on front plane. Click OK. Here we see the same cutting has been made on another side. Click isometric to make it normal. Now select this circle and click chamfer, select the second circle, choose the chamfer type to make similar chamfer on both sides. Now put the chamfer value as 0.5 mm at angle 45 degrees. Click OK. Here we see the chamfer has been made on both sides. Click isometric to make it normal. To cut the threads inside the nut, go to the whole wizard and click on thread. Or go to the insert menu. Click on features. And then click on thread. Click OK. Select this circle as thread starting location. Specify the end location of the threads, select this surface. Here we see some of the threads are not throughout the hole. Click isometric to make it normal. To add some extra more threads, click offset. Give the value as 3 mm, click reverse. Here we see threads are throughout, on both sides. In specification select metric tap, and the size as M12 with 1.5 mm pitch. Scroll down, select cut thread and right hand thread options. Click OK. Here we see, it looks perfect in shape. If you're new to this channel please subscribe, like, share and comments. Now go to the appearance. Click on metal. Click on steel. Now choose the brush steel. Thanks for watching.